that you can put on your house as in a wind-driven turbine ventilator. We've talked about the features and benefits. Now I'm going to be able to show you how this product really performs on the attic space using our Lamanco Smokehouse. The Smokehouse is a dramatization of what goes on in your attic space. We'll introduce smoke to show the heat and the moisture that build up in the attic space. We've got intake and we've got exhaust in the form of the Whirlybird to show you how the attic is supposed to be ventilated. You want to see fresh air coming through your soffit vents, moving through your attic space, and in this case, out the Whirlybird. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to introduce some smoke. This gives a visual to the heat and the moisture that builds up in the attic space. As you can see, the Whirlybird in and of itself is a pretty effective static ventilator. It's got about 100 inches of net free area. So as the, as the smoke builds up, as the heat and the moisture builds up in your attic space, you can see fresh air coming in through the soffit, moving through the attic space, exhausted out through the Whirlybird. But this, this, this product is not designed to be a static ventilator. It's designed to be a pump. Once the wind hits it, it starts moving, you start pulling CFMs through that attic space. So now let's put some wind on this product. I'm putting about five to eight miles an hour wind on this product. When you've got two of these Whirlybirds with a wind speed similar to this, you've got as much effective ventilation as you do with a powered ventilator. So what you see here, immediately the smoke, in this case the heat and the moisture, is cleared through that attic space. I'll add a little more to make it more visual. Again, fresh air coming in through the soffit vents, moving through the attic space, being exhausted out through your Whirlybird ventilator. This thing starts moving. The faster it moves, the more it pumps. There's no limit to the amount of air that this thing can pull through your attic space. This product has a lifetime transferable warranty. It is truly the best product in a wind-driven turbine that you can put on your house. It will ventilate any type of structure out there. As we've seen in the Lamanco Smokehouse demonstration, the Whirlybird is a fantastic way to ventilate your attic space. But as we know, the only way to balance the system is to have intake and exhaust. That's the only way for your attic to be properly ventilated. So what I'm going to show you here is a little focus on the intake side of things. I'm going to fill this pro the smokehouse up with a lot of heat and moisture, but I've put in some solid panels to completely cut off my intake for this system. And as you'll see, there's no wind blowing right now, so we're just looking at it in a static situation. So you've got some air that's able to escape through the vent, but now, let's see what happens as I open up the soffit vent just a little bit, let a little fresh air come in, replenishment air come in for this product. As you can see, it immediately starts pulling in, moving through, and out the, out the Whirlybird. And that's only in the static, you know, acting as a static vent. Let me close this, close this cornice vent back off, fill it up with a little smoke again. Now I'm going to hit, hit the Whirlybird with a little bit of wind. You see it starts turning. We know that thing tries to become a pump as it starts moving, but it's not able to draw any fresh air in because it has no way to, no way to feed it. It's pulling a little bit out. The Whirlybird's pretty effective in that it won't cause you too many problems. It's probably the most forgiving vent that we have if you have a lack of intake, but it's still not gonna function properly. So now let me open up the cornice vent just a little bit. And look at how dramatic that is, how much air immediately starts pumping into that and pulling out through the, through the exhaust vent. So as you can see, to get the proper performance out of the Whirlybird, you've got to have a balanced system. You've got to have plenty of intake to feed the pump. 